What is most important when it comes to making peace in Somalia? I think the most important is bringing all actors to the table. And right now, there is very limited space and opportunities for young people to come to the table. So I think what we should be doing more is creating more permanent structures, permanent mechanisms, and create facilitating access of young people to those spaces. That's the only way to get sustainable peace. And what can Sweden do to make this a reality true? So Sweden is a very important player in Somalia. It's one of the main donors in the country. So I think Sweden can really do a good job in terms of forcing and fostering this collaboration, making sure that Sweden is bringing the key people to the table uh, and making sure that then also we put the investments needed to try new things. A lot of the times donors are very risk averse. They are too afraid of trying new things. And what we realize is that what we've been doing for the last few years is not given the impact we want. So having donors such as Sweden being open to take risks and open to innovate in their funding streams, that's very crucial. And how is it to operate during a conflict? So it, it's difficult and it's very expensive. Well, I think one of the key things uh, it's hard to explain to people outside is that how expensive it is even to bring people together. You know, for me to host a small workshop, I need thousands of dollars because of security, because of securing the venue, bringing uh, supplies, even to provide water, we need to bring it from outside. So it is a very challenging situation and a lot of the times it ends up jeopardizing civil society engagement because they don't have the resources they need to be able to organize, to be able to meet, to be able to plan and be more strategic. And what is your impression of Almedalen so far? So it's very exciting to be here. Uh, I haven't seen much yet, but what I already realize is that everybody's here. So I think for me it's a great opportunity to meet other people and see also potential collaborations. And especially meeting with other youth groups and seeing what can we learn here that we can potentially link up with what we are doing in Somalia. Also we were just talking with somebody about potential of partnering local Somali youth groups with Swedish organizations and try to provide some knowledge transfer. So I'm very excited to be here. Thank you so much for your important work. Well, thank you guys for having me. <laughs>